Hello YouTube, uh, today I want to talk about, uh, spanking children. I'm against it. Um, although I'm against, uh, these, uh, new type of diaping, diaper sniffing parents that don't let their kids pick up a sticker, let them, like, play outside with other kids. Um, I don't like most of the diaper sniffing parent rules, but I do agree with the you shouldn't spank your children rule because let's look at the facts. It was normal it was normal for a parent or a teacher to hit a child. They thought they did something wrong, and especially the Catholic schools, if you were student Catholic school, you can ask your grandparents, your great-grandparents, if they're still alive, um, or you could ask your relative, uncle, aunts, if they went to Catholic school, and if they did, they would tell you that if you were bad, the nuns hit you, and if you went home to your parents saying that the nuns hit you, you got hit by your parents because you gave the reason, you gave the nun a reason to hit you. That mentality is no longer acceptable in society because it was in around the 70s, late 70s, early 80s, where uh, the Pope came out and said, listen, children are God's gift to us and we shouldn't harm them by hitting them. I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God, but what the Pope said was true. Children... I, I'm not planning to have any, but when people, when people are here, or when men hear that their spouse or significant other is pregnant with a child, that couple's happy. Because to them it's a gift that they're going to have the pitter-patter of little feet on the floor. So, in, so when people think that their job as a parent is to instill fear into that child saying, oh, if they do anything wrong, I'll hit them with my watch, my... Back then, kids would get hit by anything, by watches, belts, switches, which are twigs, but very loose twigs, or even the back of the hand. And if they... And there's parents that think discipline is means still hitting them and say, oh, spanking's different. No, it's the same thing. It's <laughs> hitting children. And if you think <laughs> hitting children is acceptable, then wake up to reality and realize that you're a child abuser. You are. There's no if ands, or buts about it. If you hit your child because they don't clean their room, or they don't listen to what you're saying and you hit them, you're a child abuser. Simple as that. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Don't, if, don't ever think of hitting your child. Don't ever think of hitting your child because that makes you look like a bad parent and also the fact that instills fear in your child to fear you and they don't feel as though that they are loved by you they feel as though they're your personal slave. That they have to be your minion. And that they have to do the stuff for you that you don't want to do. So you force your child to do it. And if they don't do it, you hit them. No. That's not acceptable. If you're a parent like that, shame on you. You shouldn't have children. You shouldn't. Point being, if you hate your child, you're a child abuser. Period. Don't say, oh, spanking's different. No, it isn't. It's the same fucking thing. So if you hate your child, and the CPA takes your chil CPS takes your children away because your child tells their school teacher, and when they ask, how do you get the spruce, and the child says, oh, my father or my mother gave it to me because I wouldn't clean my room, the CPS will come and take your children away, or child. You really want that to happen? I don't think so. I don't think that you do. 
so if you plan to hit your child or if you plan to have that mentality that it's okay for me to hit them if they're bad you don't deserve children or if you're a parent like that you don't deserve to have your child I, I gave my two cents in about it